Hello guys, John from Lost Relic Games here. This video will be an animated guide to the classic Unity input system. Now I call it the classic system because there is a new one available through the package manager. However, this classic system is still considered the default at the time of making this video. And it's very easy to run into this stuff online through Unity tutorials and the asset store itself. A lot of the code still uses this classic system. And it's been causing problems for, for people for some time now because it has a lot of um, complexities, let's say. So in this video, I'm gonna be looking at demystifying these complexities in less than five minutes. If you like these videos, please consider supporting them through my Patreon. The link will be down below. Okay, let's do this. The Unity input system is a common point of confusion for Unity newcomers and veterans alike. And it's no surprise. We have get key, get key down, get button, get key up, get button down, get mouse button, get button up, get mouse button down. Many of these do similar things, and some even the same things. Quick example. Say we want to track when the left mouse button is clicked. Well, we could do this. We could also do this. Or we could even do this. Out of the box, all these three do exactly the same thing. So let's clear the debris and make sense of this system once and for all. Get key refers to inputs that use keyboard key codes. All the keys on your keyboard have a key code that they are mapped to. Here are a few examples. These values are constants, meaning they cannot be changed. And no, no, don't worry, you don't have to remember any of these specific numbers. The Unity engine provides us with useful tooling through the key code enumeration reference allowing us to easily find and assign the key code we want using the auto-completion system. You can even use a direct string reference to the letter like so. Though this works, it can lead to user error, so it's best practice to use the key code enumeration system. To make things convenient and also a little confusing, Unity has added the mouse buttons to the key code list, allowing you to treat all mouse buttons in the same way you do keyboard keys. Using get key with the key codes mouse 0, mouse 1, and mouse 2. Get button. This is where it can get a little bit tricky for newcomers, as the get button is linked to the Unity input manager and the buttons that have been set there. The input manager can be accessed through the Unity interface by going to Edit, Project Settings, then selecting Input from the list. Under the Axes dropdown, you will find a default list of 18 items that Unity has created for your convenience game-centric words like fire and jump. This list represents a bunch of default buttons Unity has pre-mapped for you, so that things like WSAD mouse controls, as well as gamepad buttons, will work out of the box. So there's no need to set these buttons up. How awesome is that? If you need, you can tweak these buttons by editing them in the input list. And of course, if you'd like to add new buttons, you simply increase the list length to add new items. You can then create a new custom button loadout. Further adding to the confusion, there is a get mouse button which takes in the numbers 0, 1, 2 for the standard mouse buttons. Personally, I've never needed to use this, instead opting for the get key or get button alternatives, which achieve the same result. Okay, so what now is this get key down and get button down? And how is it different to get key and get button? Get key or get button, when held down, will fire repeatedly. You can think of this as a machine gun. Get key down and get button down will fire once, and to fire it again, you will need to let go of the button and re-engage it. This could be thought of like a shotgun. Knock, knock. You might use get key or get button for boosting a rocket, rapid fire weapons, or perhaps accelerating a car. On the other hand, get key down and get button down could be used for a simple jump, a one-time shooting weapon, or perhaps consuming an item, like a potion. Finally, you have get key up and get button up, which do exactly what you think they might do, in that they don't fire until you let go of the key. A practical application of this might be a power-up attack, which begins on get button down or get key down, and fires the attack on get key up or get button up. Simple, right? Well, well, congratulations, you have gained some experience. Another few of my videos and you will surely level up. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a like, sub to the channel. And if you want to be really awesome, 
you can jump over to Steam and wishlist the game I'm working on called Blood and Mead. Thanks guys, see you in the next video.